To boost its underwater strength, the Indian Navy's Warship Design Bureau has partnered with Larson and Tubro for Project 76, developing six next-generation diesel-electric submarines with AIP and stealth tech. Based on LNT's SOV 500 midget submarine design, the collaboration cuts development time from 10 to 4 years. The 2,500-ton submarines will feature lithium-ion batteries, BrahMos missile launch systems, and advanced sonar, with construction likely beginning by 2028 at LNT's Catapali shipyard. Yardi in Pune is developing Druvastra, an air-to-surface missile with penetration cum blast and thermobaric warhead options. It's unclear if this is an upscaled variant of the Helena or Dravastra ATGM, or a new, heavier weapon for fighters. Integration studies for helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft are ongoing. Selectable warheads would allow standoff strikes on bunkers, light armor, and hardened targets, improving flexibility, lethality, and export potential. MBDA has invited India to join the Multinational Future Cruise or Anti-Ship Weapon Program, rebranded Stratus, to co-develop subsonic Stratus Low Observable and supersonic Stratus Rapid Strike missiles. The pitch includes a scalp EG upgrade, tech transfer and local production. Flight trials start in 2026. Analysts warn, Stratus Low Observable's newer, more conventional design may reduce stealth, and India will weigh it against homegrown options, like nearby and Brahmos 2. The Indian Army plans to acquire VTOL drones, capable of carrying 400 to 500 kilograms payloads, to supply troops in high altitude and hostile zones like Ladakh and Arunachal Pradesh. These electric-powered UAVs aim to cut helicopter risks, costs and weather limits delivering ammo, rations and medical supplies autonomously. Built under Make in India, the program explores EVTOL technology for all-weather low-maintenance logistics, with procurement expected around 2026. India is expanding private sector participation in missile manufacturing to strengthen its wartime production capacity. After the success of the Panaka rocket system, the Ministry of Defense plans to involve private firms in producing subsonic cruise missiles and surface-to-air missiles, vital for rapid deployment in air defense. This move aims to create a resilient, multi-vendor ecosystem, reduce reliance on state factories and foreign suppliers, and ensure faster, large-scale production during conflicts. Armored Vehicles Nigum Limited, AVNL, is set to showcase its fully indigenous Bharat tank prototype by late 2026, with design completion expected by end 2025. The lightweight tank is optimized for high-altitude and rugged terrain operations, featuring modular weapon systems, advanced composite armor, and integrated electronics for superior mobility and firepower. Built entirely with Indian technology, Bharat exemplifies AVNL's commitment to self-reliance, rapid deployment capabilities, and next-generation armored warfare, minimizing dependence on foreign suppliers. The Indian Air Force has extended the service life of its MI-17 helicopter fleet from 35 to 40 years through three successful life extension studies, with a fourth underway to reach 45 years. Conducted with HAL and Russia's Rosoborn export, these upgrades strengthen airframes, engines and avionics, cutting costs by over rupees 10,000 crore. Enhanced maintenance, time between overhaul cycles and AI-driven diagnostics, now boost availability and reliability, ensuring the Mi-17s remain operational until new indigenous multi-role helicopters arrive by 2030. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited may convert its HDSE-1200 helicopter engine into a turboprop to power the Indian Air Force's HTT-40 trainer aircraft, replacing the imported Honeywell TP331. 
This move would cut costs, boost self-reliance under Atmanur Barbarat, and avoid foreign supply delays. The HTSE 1200, already nearing certification, could be adapted with a new gearbox to drive a propeller similar to global engine conversions. If successful, how could deliver indigenous turboprop trainers by 2027 to 28, reducing import dependency and opening export opportunities in the $10 billion trainer market? DRDO has initiated a project under its Technology Development Fund to design and build indigenous platinum rhodium catalytic igniters for fighter jet afterburners, replacing costly imports. These igniters, vital for reliable high speed thrust, will enhance the performance and safety of aircraft like the Su 30 MKI, Rafale, and Tejas. The project, offering up to 90% funding to Indian startups and MSMEs, aims to cut costs, strengthen supply chains, and achieve global aerospace standards, advancing India's Atmanirbhar Bharat goal in defense manufacturing. A retired IF test pilot revealed the CATS Warrior drone acts as a sensor amplifier for the Tejas flying ahead to feed real-time ISR via secure data links. It serves as a reusable scout within 350 km and as an expendable one-way strike asset out to 800 km. The subsonic, stealthy UAV carries modular electro-optical and infrared sensors or precision munitions, uses AI-assisted autonomy, and has 3 to 4 hour endurance and a Luxia PDA derived engine. Prototype is aimed for 2026 with induction targeted in 2028 to 29. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.